y'all welcome back to my channel wanted to get on here today and do a get ready with me with the huda beauty desert dusk palette um this is my third time to use this and i'll just go ahead and tell you i love it <laughs> i do but i'm going to talk about it all the way through the video you can get it online at the time i'm filming this while i'm speaking you can get it online at sephora it's in stores october 13th so i feel pretty confident putting this up that you're still going to be able to get it so Anyway, beautiful palette. This is the look I've done, a kind of a rust color with a gold shimmer. But I'm also going to talk about how you can either smoke this out more or do a more everyday look. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into this. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, before we start talking about the Huda, I'm going to tell y'all what I have on my face because I have everything on except eyeshadow and some of my eyes. Started out with the, why is it always dirty, y'all? The MAC Prep and Prime in Radiant Rose for color corrector. Followed by the Tarte Shape Tape. Followed by the Elf Under Eye Setting Powder. Put on, <laughs> am I moving fast enough? Um, I put that on with the Morphe M438. I use this all the time, about five times a day. This is the perfect under eye setting brush. That is my strong opinion, y'all. Okay, then I'm gonna put stuff up as I go. Um, I put on, <laughs> dirty, I put on the MAC Painterly Paint Pot with the Real Techniques Blending Brush. For foundation, I have on the It's CC with a 50 sunscreen and the Tarte Amazonian mixed together. Then I set my face with the Laura Mercier Translucent. I love this. So it's one of 50 powders that I have in my drawer. Put it on with, oh, put it on with a puff and then kind of blended with an e.l.f. total face. And then I put on Anastasia Contour Kit. I usually use the middle color at the bottom because I'm using that up. Why is that so satisfying? The NARS in Orgasm, the liquid blush. Y'all, I don't know if you can see it. It kind of gives you just a nice glow. I never really noticed before. Blended with a Casey Republic, like a mid-size brush. Um, on my lips, I have on a Rimmel liner today. And it is Cafe LA. I grabbed that one a lot. Real nice neutral. And then um, in the lipstick, I have on MAC Blankety. I can go a little darker before I get my eyes on. Maybe I've took a still out of my lips because I could go so dark on my eyes. That makes sense. Then I put on a little bit of liner to get myself started. I have this on in Mood, and it's a 24-7 Urban Decay waterline liner. Then I have on a little bit of Hot and Naughty to get my eyelashes started. Okay, let's talk about the Huda Desert Desk Palette. It has a mirror on it, big one, a big mirror. We've got that, I can't remember what that's called, but it's got the little crushed pearls or crystals. Oh, <laughs> and you can, uh, you have to put this on special, like with your finger and maybe wet, maybe wet. I'm not real sure how to use that yet. And I didn't read the directions and I think I'm the wrong way. So what do y'all tell me? Tell me how to use that. We may try it today, even not knowing how to use it. Has a lot of shimmers in there. We're going to use one of those today. I think that one. Let me just show you real quick. The pigment on these is great. It's great. They're easy to blend. Good pigment. These don't feel soft when I touch them like a Lorac or Anastasia. I tell you what they feel like to me. They feel like a Viseart. That kind of chalky, drier formulation not a whole lot of fallout with these right, let's get started i'm doing a kind of a rest like a reddish brown look and i'm gonna start with musk right here i already put powder all over my lid okay so i'm gonna start with that mask my e47 crease brush i'm just dipping that in there pretty good has a good pigment on it I'm going to put a dot here where my crease is or where you want it to be. And then I'm going to put a dot here on the inner. I 
I should do these at night when all the puffiness is gone. I'm telling you, I could do an eye look at night. I'm going to do that sometime. <laughs> Set my family's here at night. Going to dip again, and then I'm going to connect those. On your, put that on your transition, like where you want your crease to be. Well, you do it how you want. I'm telling you what I'm doing. <laughs> know where I want my crease to be. Sometimes I come up a little too high. Okay, and then I'm kind of coming straight out right here. A little bit further. I go a little further than my eye, a tiny bit. And I try to hold my brush straight out so I can get a better placement. That really helps. I think that was a Ms. Melissa tip for me. And then I'm building up on the inner corner. I will always do that, y'all. Just count on it. If you're doing your makeup with me more than once, <laughs> you're going to see that more than once because that's where I create the shape of my eye. That inner, okay, yeah, see how that inner just, that really makes a difference on creating that deeper set look. Okay, I'm going to do the other side. Okay, now we're going to work on the outer V a little bit, and I'm going to do that with that E47, y'all. I use this all the stinking time. Okay, I'm just going to go in real dark out there with this color over here that's called Oud or Oud, O-U-D. And I'm tapping my brush in there on the end. This doesn't have a lot of fallout, y'all, at all. Okay, I'm going to go down, tapping. And the only reason I don't have powder under my eyes is because I already have used this twice. Now, I tried to do a first impression, get ready with me with y'all. I'm not that good. Um, Life with Lily, Sheila. Hey, Sheila. Hey, girl. Um, she was talking about in her video, y'all all laughed out loud. Y'all have probably all seen this, but I'll give you another little laugh today. Now I'm just going right here, just really to my pupil. Um, where she did a video and wore her shirt <laughs> wrong side out. We're both hot messes, but my hot mess... And I'm just thinking about this because I just watched this video, is I wear, I can't tell y'all how many times I've worn two different shoes. I don't know if it's unmedicated ADD <laughs> or what. Okay, then I'm getting my Wayne Goss number 18. It's a small blending brush. Then I'm going to get a little bit of the desert sand. And um, that's a little darker than it's coming across on camera. I'm just going to put it right at the top of my transition and blend real soft. Before we go on to do the rest of the eye, I'm going to do um, my under eye. And I always use a Prestige eyeliner in black brown. Black brown. Just kind of narrow there and then kind of come in straight out. On me, that's how I shape my eye. Make it bigger. And meet that eyeshadow up there. Okay, doing the other eye. Okay, then I'm getting a small angle E65. I also sometimes use a Real Techniques brow brush, but um, I like this because it's so nice and small, and I'm just going to blend this so it blends up into my eyeshadow. Again, cleaning that off in my brush cleaner. I'll link this. I got it on Amazon, the brush cleaner. Listening to some pink this morning. Always love pink. She gets me going. Okay, and when I'm blending that up into my eye, it kind of smokes out my eyeshadow a little bit more right there, which I like. You know, if you don't like that look, just don't 
blend up like I am. I see I'm blending up into that outer V. Okay, I'm gonna get a brush y'all have never seen me use. This is a Sigma Pointed Crease E48. Okay, y'all, this is the only brush I have like this. It is shockingly soft, and I thought, I will never use that. I hate that brush. I kind of love it. It comes in at times like this, very handy, when you want a very, very light blend. You really can't make this blend hard. It's so soft, and then I don't put any pressure on it, because I like it darker, more dramatic. I like some drama year round. I want to do um, some shimmer. I'm going to use this down here. This is cashmere. Let me swatch it for you. That. I'm going to do that on my lid. In fact, I'm going to use that on my lid. I'm going to do it with my finger, which my fingers, they're kind of thin, but they still feel fat on my eyelid. Maybe my eyelid is small. And I'm just touching that on. If you have more real estate down there on your eyelid, who says that? Somebody says, if you don't have much real estate on your lid. Um, if you have more real estate down there, it's going to be easier for you. Okay, I'm going to use my pinky. I'm going to do that again. I really like doing this with a brush. But you're not supposed to, I think. Can y'all see that? That shine? Okay, I'm gonna get a brush and we're gonna see what that does with a brush. I'm dipping it into the cashmere. Let's see what that, let's just see. We'll just see, we're just playing. Yeah, that's nice. Maybe this is one you can do with a brush. You could probably also do some Fix Plus on it. Okay, um, I'm going into the Oud tapping it off, and I'm just going to go back over that crease. And right here on the line, I'm going to the color. Okay, now I want to add a little red to it. I'm going to go into this at the bottom where my finger is, right there. Saffron, I think. Yeah, saffron. And I'm going to do that with a MAC, my MAC 221. This is a narrow crease brush, but not as narrow as what I usually use. Go into that saffron. I'm tapping. Just want to add a little red. You know, it's fall. Okay, let's blend. I'm going to get that same soft brush, y'all, but I'm going to run it through my cleaner. And then I'm getting my MAC 221 again. I'm just going to blend with it. I'm not dipping it in anything. Okay, let's do a little eyeliner. I have some on my waterline, but I'm either looking for a Rimmel or an Always Sharp. One of my favorites. Okay, grabbed a Rimmel today. Um, um, this is just a Rimmel Black Liner. The Rimmel liners, those are the liners that make me go, I'm just going over the over my lash line. Every time I use one of these liners, I'm like, why do I ever use anything else? Why? Why do I spend money on liners? I guess we just like trying new stuff. I'm going to lump you in there with me. <laughs> we all like trying new stuff. Okay, and that is, I'm happy with that. If this was just me by myself, I would be adding a little touch-up concealer. So that's what I'm going to do with y'all. I'm going to use the Maybelline highlighter. And I would come back in. I already have all my concealer on. It's set. And I come back in at the very end. My bangs. This is what happens on the day I need to wash my hair. And I'm coming right there. Just right there. Letting that set up for a second while I pick my mascara. Okay, then I'm going, get, just getting a baby blender. This is an actual beauty blender, but it could be 
on another day or real techniques you know it's just kind of whatever I pick up and I'm patting and then just on the edges and I'm just patting right there We belong together. I believe this is called my life would suck without you. Okay, then for the inner corner brightening, sometimes I put a little concealer right there today with the residue of that beauty blender. I'm just going right there. Instead of putting eyeshadow there, I usually work with concealer right there. Okay, and then I'm setting that in. And um, I used e.l.f. earlier. I will tell y'all at the very end, and I forgot to mention this. Somebody even asked me. My, my Misty asked me, are you still using the Biterry Hyaluronic Powder? Um, yes, I have it in the e.l.f. open side by side of my drawer. At the very end, I do like to put a little Biterry on there, y'all. This is very pricey. <laughs> it's a, like dust. Don't breathe it. Um brightens light. Ugh. Okay, and then with the residue of the powder, sometimes I come down and run it over my eyeshadow, but I'm not going to today because I'm I'm liking where we ended up with that. All right, now I'm going to do some mascara. I'll be back. I think I'm going to use the um, Better Than Sex today on top of the Hot and Naughty because my Hot and Naughty is running low. Okay, let's touch up our... Um, Lips. This is the same Rimmel liner. And I'm going to go over that this time with baby lips. It's a little peacher. This is in Toasted Taupe. A little peacher to go with our new eyeshadow. And then I think I need to peach up my and blush a little. So I'm going to go over it with the Papa Don't Peach. I stole this back from my daughter, y'all. <laughs> she didn't move fast enough. She didn't get it out of the house when I gave it to her. So if she wants it, I'll give it back. But I thought, well, I might as well use that. I gave her my peach powder by Too Faced and reordered it. Okay, then gonna blend that out with my stiff Morphe. This is what I usually buff with. This is the B3. And I'm just gonna dip it to any powder that's open, really. And uh, my Chanel is almost out and it's open, so I just dipped into that. Just going on the edges of that blush. I know this is an eye tutorial, but I want y'all to know how I get to the actual final, you know. Okay, and then that is pretty much my, I really probably won't even do much to that after I turn off the video. Like, I, I will go all day with that. Again, if I wanted to smoke out, I can smoke that out with a darker. I can, you know, keep this halo look, but not do the shimmer. I think y'all know I love this palette. This is easy to blend out. I did this with no fallout. I'm just one opinion, but I loved this palette. So if you have any questions or comments, put those down below. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and I will talk to y'all soon. Y'all have a good day. Bye.